slide. It's a link to the FISA court order. Well done, Janine. I told you she wasn't a pushover. Yeah. It feels so goddamn good to be wrong. Breaking news tonight reports that through a secret court order, the Obama administration is collecting the phone records of millions of Verizon customers. That's been reported by the Guardian newspaper in the UK. They said the court order shows that all the information is going to the National Security Agency. <laughs> so they have out to multiple sources. How's that for mainstream, mainstream media, Gwen? They can't they shut this down now. We've got four more days of it. <laughs> they have no idea what they're in store for. Another explosive article has just appeared this time in the water. Washington Post, uh, it's breaking news that it uh, reveals another broad and secret U.S. government surveillance program. The Washington Post uh, and The Guardian in London reporting that the NSA and the FBI are tapping directly into the uh, central servers of nine leading Internet companies, including Microsoft, Yahoo, Google, Facebook, AOL, Skype, YouTube, and Apple. The Post says they're extracting audio, video, photographs, emails, documents, and connection logs that enable analysts to track a person's movements and contacts over time. In the abstract, you can complain about Big Brother and how this is a potential program run amok. But when you actually look at the details, then I think we've struck the right balance. U.S. President Barack Obama staunchly defends U.S. government programs insisting that they were conducted with fraud safeguards and to protect against abuse. He reached the conclusion that what was happening inside this really secretive agency uh, was very threatening and menacing to privacy rights, to internet freedom, to basic political liberty, not only in the United States, but uh, all around the world. And uh, he felt it was his duty as a human being to disclose it. My name's Ed Snowden. I'm 29 years old. I work for Booz Allen Hamilton as an infrastructure analyst for NSA in Hawaii. The identity of the man who sent the Obama Well, you can't come forward against the most powerful intelligence agencies in the world without expecting to have some risk. They're just such powerful adversaries. Uh, no one can meaningfully oppose them. You know, they did it. If they want to get you, they will get you in time. The kid did it's it. It's just going to get worse for the next generation if they extend the capabilities of this sort of architecture of oppression. You realize that you might be willing to accept any risk. And if the public is able to make their own decision about how this is applied. Because even if you hadn't done anything wrong, you're being watched in the court. Look, I had access to the entire intelligence community. So if I had wanted to harm the U.S., you could, you could shut down the entire surveillance system in an afternoon. But that was never my intention. And I think anybody that's making that argument, they have to think, if they were in my position, living in Hawaii, in paradise, making a ton of money, what would it take to make you leave everything behind? The fear that I think I have most in regards to the outcome for America with these disclosures is that nothing will change. In the coming months and in the coming years, it'll just get worse. And then eventually, at some point, some new leader will be elected who flips the switch and the people won't be able to do anything by that point to oppose it. And it'll be turnkey tyranny. How you holding up? Yeah, I'll, I'll be fine. You guys that have to start watching out for yourselves now. You know, if you have any reason to believe that you're about to be raided or intercepted or breached in any way, you 
format and destroy all the data immediately. You have the encrypted backups. And now I, I no longer have any access to these files myself. You guys have them all. Keep the focus on the stories, that's all that matters. Uh, if you'll excuse me, that's... Uh, we should all get some rest, we can use it. Yeah, I should probably lay down in a soft bed while I still have one available, right? Rest well. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Good night.